Hey guys, and welcome to this uh, video about the collision in Planet Coaster. That is such a game changer. Uh, this has been released in the last update, the spring update 1.2 and um yeah this is really really amazing and i'm sure i am not uh, i'm not showing you all the things you can do with it this is just the stuff i know you can do with it and i wanted to share it with you guys for the people that don't know how to use it or maybe uh yeah you haven't thought about this and uh, please leave comments if you have more suggestions uh, of things I didn't show. I might make a second video about that. And yeah, let's just see. Let's just go for it. Okay, so um, the first thing that we... You may already know this because you could already do... Oh, let me just start with the buttons if you don't know where to find it. You can find it in your menu, then settings game and then you can disable scenery collision disable coaster collision disable ride collision so this allows you to place anything you want and to uh, uh, put the tracks uh, in the terrain in the water and that kind of stuff okay so let me show you uh, the first thing because um, without the update you let me just make some water first we can use the water for the water rides as well but this i wanted to show you first okay so you have a hole <laughs> it's a beautiful hole don't you think <laughs> okay so you place water in it and what you can do with the rides you can now place the rides and they stick out of the water. I don't know if you want that for anything that is useful, but I don't know. You can't do it right now. And without that collision, you couldn't do that. So that is pretty awesome. Like you can, of course, make a whole park on the water. And that is really awesome. You can really make some kind of Atlantic city if you want to. So that is really, really cool. The second thing I wanted to show you, of course, you can now place let me get some scenery and let's go for some props you can now add scenery to the rides so that is really an awesome feature they put in you don't have like that little guy saying no 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 <laughs> you can't do that <laughs> you can now place anything on the rides make awesome stuff yourself you can even uh, place walls and that kind of stuff let me just grab a wall uh, I don't care which one. Oh, where are you wall where's my wall oh wait <laughs> it's over there okay so now you can place walls wherever you want and yeah, this is such a game changer really this is so awesome like I remember when I wanted to place rocks at the uh, edges of a ride, you just, oh, it was terrible. And now you can place the rocks wherever you want. And that is so awesome. So you can do anything. You can make your own railings as well. And yeah, just make your own rides in kind of way. Of course, it doesn't move along with the ride itself. But yeah, you can really, really let your imagination go to make some awesome rides yourself. So the second thing I wanted to show you, well, it's the third thing, right? <laughs> okay, so let me grab a coaster. And I think it, it's, it works with everything. You, you can try this out with any ride you want. You can use the uh, transport rides as well. Okay, so let me place a track. And what you now can do, and the most easiest way to do, but I'm sure you... No, I don't really... I'm sure you can use the same track. Okay, so let's build another boomerang. And place it next to it. And build a track. This is just the most easiest way to show you guys. Okay, let me just delete this. Uh, over here, delete. And delete 
this. So I, I've seen people trying to do this before this update and it is pretty hard <laughs> to get that same feeling. Um, let me just do like this. So you can make a fake train track connected and the coaster still works. And you can have like this fake train track where they uh, put the trains if they need to um, be fixed or anything like that. I'm not really sure if you can you can place the station over here of course so you have the train track ride itself over there i'm not really sure if that is possible but at least you can do this kind of stuff and that looks really really awesome and i think that goes the same for train stations uh train stations the transport rides and that kind of stuff the dark rides i think it works for everything so that is really awesome so the next thing i wanted to show you guys um of course this is also something we really really I already showed you in my first view of the um, uh, update, of course, but this is really, really awesome. Um, let's grab a train. And you can, okay, let's just place it. And you can make crossroads. Like the people will walk over it and then when you have the train riding it just drives through the people but it really really looks beautiful to have these kind of uh over i don't know how you call it <laughs> but you know you see what i mean and it really looks beautiful so you don't need to go over it or underneath the path that looks really really nice so the next thing i wanted to show you guys was with go karts um, it doesn't really matter which ride you pick, of course. But what you can do as well, you can lower it into the terrain. And with this way, you can make it really, really nice floating. Well, it's not floating, it just sticks to the terrain, of course. Okay, let me just show you. When you lower the terrain, if you do it too far, you can't graze it again. So you need to make sure you're not going too fast. But in this way, you can make a really nice, I don't know how to call it, a gap. <laughs> but it really, really looks very awesome. And it's really nice to see. Like when you made the tunnels, there's always a space underneath. And that was kind of annoy annoying. But yeah, you can now just remove the terrain. And of course you can keep the terrain if you want to. But I don't see the point of that. But maybe you guys are so creative to know a reason why you wouldn't remove the terrain. So yeah, it's, it's really, really such a nice way to use the no collision tool. <laughs> So the next thing is probably the most awesome thing, if you ask me. Well, I think, I don't know, the, the track above the path is really, really awesome. But this one I really, really love as well. Okay, let's just grab a log flume. And make it go. I just need to quickly build the log flume. Ooh, like that it's it doesn't need to be high to show you okay and then go back to the water of course like this and then go down and then we need to make sure, like this is okay to do. And then you can just click on it if it works. Yes, thank you. And then you can raise it, raise it, raise it, raise it. 
Okay, now it's not working. Ah! Okay, is it? Okay, I think this is almost perfect. Can we just go a little bit higher? No. Yes. Okay. So this railing is above the water and the rest now is underneath the water. And that is really, really awesome. So if you just make it a little bit longer, you can now, if I start the test and speed it up, it really, really looks so beautiful. Okay, here it goes, here it goes. There we go! And boom! Now this is really, really good. It's really inside of the water right now. You maybe want to place it a little bit higher, but you can't, I guess. <laughs> But it really, it really looks so good. The only thing that is not really natural is the way the water falls. You don't really see like those patterns in the water. So what you could do, and I'm just gonna show you, but it's not gonna look perfect for the first time, I guess. Um, I think this is the one. Let me just check. Like the fountain splash, medium, fountain splash, large. I think I would go for the large one. And when you place them, is this the large one? No, it's, oh, it is the small one, sorry. So you could use this one or this one. I think this one will look best to use. And when you place it high enough, okay, now it's disappearing in the water. So when you put it high enough, then you have these splashes. And with the trigger events, you can really make it look like this is a splash from the uh, lock flume itself. So that is really, really a game changer as well. Like this is looking beautiful. And you don't need to use this one. You can also use the, the water jets and that kind of stuff to, well, this one is too big. But you you see what I mean, right? I, see, I think Silver so made in Koali Beach uh, the diving coaster and he put, I think it were these guys. Where are you? I don't see it. There it is. Uh, no, no. These guys, you can use these guys as well to make like a bigger effect of the waterfall and use the trigger events, of course. So yeah, this is really, really something I love. And this also works with the uh, water rapids, of course. So yeah, I really, really like this feature and I can't wait to make something like this myself in a new park. Awesome. So yeah, I think... This was it, guys. I, I really am not sure if I showed you guys all the things you can do in general. There might be some other stuff that is really, really useful and ha handy with this new tool. <laughs> Look at that thing. So yeah, let me know if you have new uh, other side suggestions, uh, what you could also do. And uh, yeah, who knows, maybe I can make a new video about that as well. And uh, well, I hope you, I really hope you like this video. <laughs> um, uh, let me know. And I really hope to see you back in my next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.